swing -alacious. That was fantastic, wasn't it? Yes, yes. I, I can tell that you enjoyed yourself very much. I did. I've got my dancing shoes on as well. I wish vintage I could just be... Vintage Shamak. Shamak never disappoints. That's so rude. He's not that old. Vintage Shamak. No, no. You're right. You're right. But, you know, do, certain things do grow better with age. Look at me. Okay. Anyways. We won't go there. How old are you, by the way, Lisa? And coming up next, uh, coming up you were next. going to say, yes? As I was saying, coming up next, it's time to get up close and personal with the girls and it's time to watch them in a very specially put together video where we'll get to know them one by one. Let's one rock one. and roll, shall we? Okay, let's check it out. Roll tape. Here come the girls. Contestant number one, Sarah. Contestant number two, Shruti. Contestant number three, Shamita. Contestant number four, Megha. Contestant number five, Ardi. Contestant number six, Debali. Contestant number seven, Tapu. Contestant number eight, Rachna. Contestant number nine, Purvi. Contestant number 10, Tina. Contestant number 11, Selena. Contestant number 12, Rupali. Contestant number 13, Number 14, Kawa. Contestant number 15, Trisha. Contestant number 16, Aarti. Contestant number 17, Ankita. Contestant number 18, Vishwa. Contestant number 19, Rosie. Contestant number 20, DP. Contestant number 21, Namita. Contestant number 22, Shweta. Contestant number 23, Rohini. Contestant number 24, Preeti. Contestant number 25, Claudia. Contestant number 26, Nikki. Contestant number 27, Divya. Contestant number 28, Maheshwari. Contestant number 29, Subarchala. Contestant number 30, Melody. gentlemen in random order please welcome contestant number one Sara
contestant number seven, Tapur. Please welcome contestant number 11, Selena. Contestant number 14, Kawal. Contestant number 21, Namita. Contestant number 23, Rohini. Maheshwari.
contestant number 29, Suvarchala. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome on stage contestant number 20, Dipti. Rahul, don't you think they're looking absolutely stunning and composed? Very composed, surprisingly. Much more composed than I am feeling at this oh, point. I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, each of these contestants will pick a judge and answer the question posed to her. And the strength and clarity of her answer will determine whether she moves to round three or not, right? Absolutely, Rahul. Well, girls, are you ready? Well, all the best to you. Let me just find my footing and I'll be there. How are you feeling? Well, I have the cards right here. There you go. Do you want to hand it to me? <clears throat> well, Sarah has chosen the lovely taboo. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, in the years to come, Sarah, in India, do you think it is more important for the perception of women to change or the perspective of women to change? Good evening. A woman has always been enigmatic, alluring and mysterious. It's just now that the world is getting to find out about it, especially from developing countries. So as far as I'm concerned, a woman will always be a woman of substance, enigmatic and alluring, and so she will always strike a balance between her professional as well as personal life. Hence, her perception will never change, at least not of herself. Thank you. Thank you. Well, let's hear it for all the women in the crowd over here. You okay, Rahul? Okay, Tapu, are you ready? Okay, your turn to choose your judge. Well, the very beautiful Sharmila Tagore. Hi, Tapu. Hi, Sharmila. India has been winning all major beauty contests lately. Uh, what, in your opinion, uh, do you think uh, the Indian ladies what, are the, what is the advantage the Indian ladies have, if any, do you think, over other contestants? 
Um, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. In my opinion, I think Indian ladies have the confidence in their speech, the warmth in their face, and the way they carry themselves which bring them to the level. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I definitely agree with that. Well, we have Selena. She's never good at shuffling cards. Just choose. <laughs> Well, we have the Indian captain himself, Mr. Saurav Ganguly. Good evening, Selina. Good evening, uh, sir. Question is, uh, if, if you were born again, what would you want to be born as and why? I would, I would be like to born as a man whom I admire a lot, and that is uh, none other than Dr. Bhim Rao Ambedkar. You must be wondering why is that so? because I admire him for his vast erudition and learning, his legal philosophies, his social reforms, and how he abolished the caste system of India and became the man who wrote the Constitution of India. I wish I had written the Constitution of India and people would remember me every time like they do for him. Thank you. Thank you, Selena. Thank you very much. As I move on to my favorite color red over here, high cover, <laughs> your turn. Do you want to choose and hand the card to me? Okay, we have Kristen Kutai Clarence. Thank you. Hi, I hope that you are going to understand my French accent. Good uh, evening. Good evening. Tell me, what is the difference for you between determination and stubbornness uh, sir could you please uh, rephrase the question uh, determination and to be stubborn 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 okay right well I feel determination is a synonym of hard work it is more of a positive trait than a negative trait it is the foundation of anybody's any man's success it is what leads you towards what you want to be in life. Whereas stubbornness, I feel on the other hand, definitely we all know, is a negative aspect and should be avoided as much as possible. Because if you're stubborn, you cannot be successful. You have to learn to bow. You have to learn to sacrifice. Thank you so much. Thank you. That's not passing the pass, silly. <laughs> well, that was absolutely lovely. Well, your turn. Well, she's chosen Mr. Michael Steak. Hello, good evening. Good evening. My question to you is, uh, in your life, which person do you treasure the most and why? Definitely my mom. My mother is the one who gave me the determination and I was very focused for this contest. She was the one who played a major role in my life. She knew that I had confidence and poise in me to come up and speak in front of you wonderful people around. And it's amazing. I'm right here talking to the beautiful ladies and gentlemen all around me. And I really treasure her the most. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, the lady in white. Do you want to choose? Well, we have the lovely Dinah Hayden. Good evening. Good evening. I'd like to know, according to you, why is it around the world that people say, ladies and gentlemen, as opposed to gentlemen and ladies. Asa kyo kaha jata hai dunya bhar mein ladies and gentlemen aur ye kabhi nahi kaha jata gentlemen and ladies asa kyo Good evening ma'am main vishwas rakhti hu कि भगवान का सर्वश्रेष्ठ जो सर्जन है वो स्त्री है और पृथ्वी पे भी सभी मानवों ने 
उसको स्वीकार किया है इसलिए उसको मान देने के लिए सम्मान देने के लिए प्यार से पुकारते हैं लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन थैंक्स इट इज माई बिलीव दैट गॉड हैज इन्फेस्टेड वुमेन द पावर्स ऑफ लव रिस्पेक्ट सो एवरी टाइम वुमेन इज गिविन प्रायोरिटी कम्पेयर टू द मैन बिकॉज शी रेडी डिजर्व ऑफ द लव एंड रिस्पेक्ट शिम पार्स ऑन टू अदर्स थैंक यू Thank you. In fact, I've always wondered that question myself. Where does it happen the other way around? Hello. Okay. We just have three to go. Make your pick. Okay. Well, we have the ravishing Ravina Tandon. Um, good evening, Rohini. Good evening, and uh, all of be- all the best to all of you all up there. You're looking very pretty. Thank you so much. <laughs> If you were to win. you would be an ambassador of your country um if you met someone who condemned um speaking about the corruption pollution and all the negative aspects of your country what would be your defense or how would you change that person's mind or uh, sell your country India according to me is one of the most beautiful countries in the whole of the world to describe it to a foreigner who has a negative attitude towards my country the one and only thing that i would say don't look at us from a corruption point of view or from the outer from the outer shell that we show you but look into our hearts the warmth the love the friendliness that you will find here you will not find it anywhere else in the world thank you <clears throat> well you want to make your pick exactly <laughs> well well she's chosen mr rithik roshan hi maheshwari good evening Good evening. Maheshwari what is 8864 multiplied by 6642? Uh it's an answer that's going just to Just joking, be. just joking. Mm-hmm. No, my real question Maheshwari is well, I believe in the philosophy that you get what you deserve. who do you think deserves to win this evening in this competition and why well you might think i'm being a little too confident or i'm being a little too arrogant but with due respect to all my talented co contestants out here i would like to say that i have worked really hard for this contest and i have wanted it very badly it's been a dream of 7 years and i think if given a choice i would be the deserved person to win the contest thank you well i like that well i guess virtula that doesn't really <laughs> leave too many cards with me we have the last one mr loris azaro good evening good evening mr azaro if you win the miss india title what is in the world would you exchange it for and why thank you mr zaro the miss india title would give me a platform to voice my opinion to change certain things that are within my limits and the only thing i would exchange it for is something that would give me the same platform that would help me do things that i could with this platform itself and i think that the miss india platform cannot be exchanged for a lot of things but maybe if something comes along i might think about it thank you thank you very much thank you well come on mumbai i think the ladies were absolutely sensational give them a round of applause there you have it gentlemen and ladies our nine beautiful semi finalists Uh thank you girls and we'll see you later on on stage.
first, the winners of the preliminary contest held at Chennai and Bangalore earlier this month take back crowns and a bag full of gifts and opportunities. Well, you ready? Ladies and gentlemen, introducing to you for the first time, Margot Miss Beautiful Skin, contestant number 11, Selena. <laughs> Active Miss Beautiful Smile, contestant number 15, Trisha. Farmer's Personality, contestant number 25, Flavia. is contestant number 19, Rosie. <laughs> Mobla, Miss Talented, is contestant number four, Megha. Miss Photogenic is contestant number six, Debali. and gentlemen to put the icing on this delectable confection the contestants who our nation has declared the queens of their hearts fittingly crowned yesterday at the regent our very generous official host first the contestant who polled the maximum number of votes on uh, Sony Entertainment Television's website www.setindia.com the winner of the Sony viewers choice award my Miss India title is contestant number 21 Namita Next, the winner of every surfer's heart, coming back again, the contestant who won over netizens on Femina's official website, www.feminamissindia.com, the indiatimes.com, surfer's choice, and MTV's most wanted. The winner is contestant number 11, Selena, three times lucky, who will join me as an MTV VJ. Okay, thank you very much, contestants. And Stage the five selected finalists, three of whom will go on to be ambassadors of our nation. Well, time now to call on stage the five finalists. 
Coming up first is contestant number one, Sara. Okay. The next finalist, one of the five, is contestant number 11, Selena. Well, we have contestant number 14, Kaval. Next up, any guesses from the audience? That's right, contestant number 21, Namita. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, the last finalist of the five are this contestant number 28, Maheshwari. So we finally have five finalists, Malaika. Can you imagine all one month gone by and finally it's come to an end almost? That's right. Did you guess any of the finalists? Well, I had my favorites, but what about you? I don't know, I kind of had a few favorites and then they didn't show up and then I changed my mind and it was all very confusing, but we have our five now. You know what, actually if you see the kind of tension and all that nail biting that happens backstage, I don't want to be there, you know. That's I'm true. really happy being here, talking to everybody, <laughs> changing in and out of clothes. <laughs> Not that it's any less tense up here though, because <laughs> we're all, always that. wondering well, who, which contestant is going to be chosen for the five. Not just that, we've got tons of people, the camera doesn't show up, teleprompter stops working, all those <laughs> things. God, that's very nervous. <laughs> as you can tell, ladies and gentlemen, we've been asked to ad lib, so please bear with us. As the contestants get into their position before they are revealed to you, um, you got a joke, Rahul? I don't have You're a really joke. You're really good. Actually, what, the <laughs> jokes are really good by Cyrus. You know, Cyrus Navaris, he's very good at that. So we're just going to stick to plain and simple lines over here. Wait until our contestants come off stage, because That's right, right now they're going through a lot of stuff back down there. And while we're waiting, any of uh, those of you who didn't make it to the Maha Mela, please feel free to have a dip in our pond at the bottom here. <laughs> just don't move too forward. <laughs> okay, we've just been told that we are ready to see the five finalists, ladies and gentlemen, of the Far Femina Miss India Contest 2001. Coming up first is contestant number one, Sara. Come on, everybody, let's hear it for her. Ladies and gentlemen, the finalists of this round, sponsored by FAR, the spirit of freshness. Well, now that they're all in place, please welcome once again contestant number one, Sara. <laughs> contestant number 11, Selena. <laughs> contestant number 14, Kaval. Contestant number 21, Namita. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for contestant number 28, Maheshwari.
Rahul, you should be saying that actually, Rahul, wow. Well, can you actually feel all that electricity, tension, all of it in the air? Definitely, and it makes it all the more dangerous with all this water around. <laughs> anyway, to add even more zing to this scintillating evening, we have a surprise entrant now. The man who can quiz the Sphinx, the razor-sharp quiz master par excellence, the man who recently gave the word KQ, or knowledge quotient, uh, will now shoot questions to our five finalists. Please welcome, ladies and gentlemen, Derek O'Brien. Talk to the five finalists to test their RQ. RQ? You made a mistake, Malaika. It's either KQ or IQ. Well, I pretty much knew you'd ask me that. Well, RQ actually stands for Response Quotient. As you all know, in such a contest, there are no right or wrong answers. It's how you answer that really matters. And that's what Derek and the judges are about to test. Which of these five are the most unflappable and composed? Are you ready, ladies? Well, judges, I hope you are ready. This is one round you don't want to miss. After quizzing school students and college students and corporate executives in dull shirts for over 10 years, this one's the big one. Not one, but two, but not three, four, five beautiful girls. Okay, we're not going to ask any quiz questions on history or geography or astrophysics to any of these girls. I've told them backstage we're going to have a relaxed chat. But I've taken Mr. Pradeep Guha's permission to ask one question to the audience. Is that okay? And there's a big cash prize if you answer it. Okay? Uh, if you're in the first three rows and you're a VIP, you're not allowed to enter this. Okay. The question is, should we ask you a question on science maybe? How is sildenafil citrate better known? How is sildenafil citrate better known? Yes, the gentleman in the fifth row. The one who's standing up. Viagra, absolutely right. That's why you were standing up. I'm happy. <laughs> very, very good. Round of applause. And we'll tell you what the cash prize is. 11 rupees. <laughs> good. Where are you? Money order from the Times of India. <laughs> from far Femina. Okay. Now these girls are a little nervous and I hope they're not. And I'm sure they should be a little nervous. Uh, no need to get nervous. Let's first welcome Sarah. Number one, Sarah. Derek's made his first mistake. Good. Sarah, I read your profile backstage a few minutes ago. Amazing. Sarah wants to set up her own airline. Is that true? Well, I suppose that's the next option if I can't open a travel agency of my own. So, yes. Airline. You know, this guy Richard Branson opened an airline. He called it, what, Virgin Atlantic. And uh, business class passengers on Virgin Atlantic have special services, like they can, ha they can have a massage, they can have a manicure. I'm, I'm not joking, I'm, I'm serious. You think your airline could have some special service? What's the special service your airline, you'd introduce for your airline? Well, I think the one special service that I would introduce to my airline is I would make sure that all my flight attendants are humble and very polite, realizing that their passengers are traveling and that they just need a break, a home away from home on a craft. Lovely airline. What do we call it? Sarah Atlantic. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know, in, in the days gone by, especially when the aircraft air, airlines first started, all the air hostesses were nurses, really. Do you think uh, that's a good qualification to be an air hostess today or you just need to be very pretty? Well, essentially a nurse nurses people and makes sure that they're okay, whether it's in the hospital or probably at home with their families. But in the case of a flight attendant, I think you have to be somewhat of a nurse because you have to nurse your passengers and make sure that they get there safely and treat them well. So yes, I think there's a similarity, Derek. I'm suddenly not feeling well. I want to be nursed. <laughs> okay, Sarah, thank you very much and thank good you. luck with Sarah Atlantic. Well, very well done, Sarah. See, it's nice and easy. And I'm not even giving you options. Good. From Sarah, it's across to another pretty lady, number 11, Selena. I can hear everyone in the first three rows clapping. Uh, what about you guys at the back? You gotta get into the act. Ah, you're there. Okay. 
Hi, Selena. Hi, Derek. Goody. Selena wants to, when she finishes modeling, she said she'll perhaps join the armed forces. That's not when I finish modeling. I mean, I wanted to join the armed together. forces. Together. No, not together, but uh, basically because I wanted to fly planes. Do you um, have it in you? Yes, I have it in me. <laughs> to join the armed forces? Yes, of course I okay, do. Okay, let's leave the armed forces out of this and get into something. Who's your favorite politician? Um, Arun Jetli. Arun Jetli. Yes. Tell us why. He speaks very well. I mean, he's got an answer for everything and he knows his job. So does, well. so does my favorite politician. That is? Lalu Prasad <laughs> Tell me, do you think Lalu Prasad Yadav is henpecked? Mm, might be. I don't know. What do you think from what you read in the newspapers? Uh, well, he definitely is not henpecked. Well, he looks buffalo pecked to me. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. You think he's diabetic? Um, well, Leave that one out. considering yeah. the fact the number of hair coming out from his ears, he might be. Diabetic. Yeah. Or does he have too much of robbery? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, uh, Selena, between the armed forces and politics, I think the great thing we've done in this country is to keep the two absolutely clearly away from each other. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, how do you think that benefits a country like us? Uh, see, what happens is politics, uh, with due respect to all the politicians everywhere who are watching me right now, uh, what happens is in politics there's too much of turmoil and armed forces is a completely different things so much of discipline so much of etiquettes which i'm sorry to say not not much is there in politics thank you selena let's have a round of applause for selena thank you from sarah and selena let's now talk to contestant number 14 kawal round of applause for kawal One thing which I hope none of us have this evening, it's a new word, uh, caligynophobia. Check your dictionary, you'll find a word called caligynophobia there. You know what's fear of? It's the fear of beautiful women. <laughs> okay, Kamal, great. A clinical psychologist in the making. And even if you are a clinical psychologist in the making, you'll still need that microphone. Selena, t uh, Kamal, I beg your pardon, tells us, uh, she wants to set up a clinic. Right. Have you thought of a name for your clinic? I haven't. I Why don't you think of a name? I'll give you a few seconds to think of a nice, really good name for your clinic. Derek in my clinic. Derek in my clinic. Derek in my clinic. You're going to give me equity in your clinic? Yes. <laughs> okay. That's excellent. Who's your favorite actor? Um, Rithik. Rithik, you've obviously changed your mind. Rithik, she's saying that to impress you because uh, day before yesterday in her profile, she wrote Anil Kapoor. No, I wrote Anil, <laughs> I wrote Anil Kapoor, Rithik and June Claude Van Damme. Okay, you wrote Anil Kapoor, Rithik. Let's, let's leave Rithik out of this because he's judging you. Yes. Okay? <laughs> you know, my wife doesn't like Anil Kapoor. He doesn't? She doesn't. Why? He's got hair on his back. <laughs> now, what do you like about him? Uh, he's a very versatile actor, I feel, number one, and he's very good looking, and his performance, I feel, is definitely very good in all the movies that he's acted in. Do definitely. you like hairy people? Uh, <laughs> not really. No? No, I, I, am, I don't like him because of the hair. I like him because of the acting. <laughs> very, very good. Kamal, congratulations. Number 14, let's have it for you, Kamal. Okay, and if Anil Kapoor is watching, well, sorry. Number 21, Namita. Namita, right up there. Hi. Namita. Well, Derek, let me tell you first thing. I'll try my level best to speak in English right now. Okay. So just ask me. You know, if I start speaking, very nice, very nice. Thank if I start speaking in Hindi, this will become a comedy show. <laughs> okay. Uh, great. You want to be a successful daughter. woman. You want to be a daughter. You want to be a wife. You know, this is like the options game. A, B, C, D. No options. I think woman is the substance of woman, I believe. I've heard that before. 
okay is it so mm -hmm. well let me tell you why i am a daughter successful daughter mm. because my father wanted to become but because of his family he couldn't be so at that time when he married he thought mm. whenever i'll have a daughter i'll make her something and my mom wanted to become a dancer because of her family also she couldn't be a dancer she made me a dancer and then my father asked me darling are you interested in movies i said yes dad then i entered in gujarati movies this one you acted in gujarati movies now i'm yes. beginning to uh, wonder namita is this the gentleman you brought around is your interpreter you speak such wonderful english i suspect he's your boyfriend no. who wanted to be on stage <laughs> not at all i have no boyfriend thank mm -hmm. you no boyfriend he's no. just your interpreter who yes i just met him you just met him yes oh gosh this sounds like a real hot story in the making no don't trust yeah. him uh, namita do you love your dad very much i love my mom and dad a where is lot. Where, where is your dad now i think they are on the ground only mom yeah. dad you want to give them a message yes i'll try my level best just trust me i love you wonderful namita beautiful number 21 number 28 maheshwari what happened to the clapping guys including the guy who won 11 rupees maheshwari your profile amazed me you want to do your mba you want to set up an advertising agency she wants to learn 10 languages and you want to become a supermodel you know what i thought of yes maheshwari of all trades master of none what do you say to that um well maheshwari master of the the chosen trades would how is how i would describe myself i think i can do everything really definitely do you think uh, trying to do too many things you end up doing nothing not really if it's just a dream dream big at least you would have dreamt it but if it comes true i've got a problem i can't dream i only suffer from nightmares what do you recommend well, It's my favorite night activity too having What? nightmares. Your favorite night activity is to have nightmares. nightmares. Yes. Honestly. Honestly. It's in my profile. It's in your profile? Yes. I I didn't read your profile, you know, with <laughs> such kind of details. Tell me you know when I got in, uh, to Bombay this morning, mm -hmm. uh the from the from the aircraft to the terminal building the bus mm -hmm. was a little crowded and uh, I had a seat but I gave it to a lady. Do okay. you think I did the right thing? um it depended on it it depends on how how long the journey is But if the journey 24 is pretty, seconds then i think you were a gentleman by giving up your seat to a lady yeah yeah but if it was a 24 hour journey then i would really think sorry to say you would be a little dumb to give up your seat even to a lady oh dumb derek maheshwari well done thank you very very good well ladies and gentlemen uh It's very difficult to come up here and answer questions so I try to keep it all equal I didn't come here with any cards for support but let's put your hands together for these wonderful five ladies who've really handled the situation very very well and now it's back to Rahul and Malaika thank you very much Well thank you Derek thank you very much that was an absolutely stimulating round I must say It was indeed and now it's time to savor the bounty that the winners and finalists will be carting home Okay, we have just seen the original quiz master of India, Derek O'Brien, jousting with the girls, the last five <laughs> contestants. That was quite an interesting round. I don't think he's ever done anything like this before. No, not in this contest, at least. Okay. But it was interesting that audience question with Viagra. I wonder why he chose that one. <laughs> why, Derek? I why? Wonder, I wonder. Did you do that? Some experience. But class. you know, he's not on the hot seat today. The girls are. So, the what do you think are. about some of the? Uh, let's 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 go with the first one, yeah. Sarah. She spoke extremely well, but I was surprised that she didn't know that the original intention for nurses to be on airlines was that because they were there for the safety of passengers. Because sometimes you have accidents in the air, heart attacks, respiratory problems. That's why you need a yes, nurse. Yes, yes, that may be true, Nikhil. But then I do believe that it's. not just what you intend to say but the spirit and how you say it and how you speak and how you can honestly i'm not joking i feel that's very important and she did a very good job she Let's did a very good job she, she is one of my favorites for the top 3 yes she's becoming one of my favorites and not because she's from bangalore unlike you okay let me partisanship <laughs> on my side selena on the other hand spoke uh, about politics 
Yeah, that's a little, uh, that's murky territory, it actually, is to go into. Territory. It's uh, it's a little, but I mean, I think she did an okay job. The hair on Lalu's ears. <laughs> wow, Selena, Perhaps that was brave. she's just uh, basically enunciating what we all think, but never come out and say sometimes. Never Particularly touch. not in front of so many people. Definitely that's okay. never taste. Full points for guts. Okay. <laughs> Kanmal, on the other hand, uh, she wants to open a clinic. Yeah, yeah, I didn't realize that about Derek called her. Derek and my Derek clinic. Derek and my clinic. <laughs> that was sweet. That was sweet. <laughs> Namita. Now, I like Namita because she spoke from the heart. Now, she wasn't uh, very verbal. She didn't know the language very well. Correct. But she spoke from the heart. And I really, really I like really what she said. I really appreciated her honesty on that. Mm -hmm. The fact that she said, I will try my best. I'm not completely proficient in the language. And I think mm -hmm. the audience really felt for her. I felt a yes, really great Yes, she did. Vibe. And I'm sure her parents are very proud of her watching her in the yeah. audience. And then there was Maheshwari who likes um, to have nightmares as her favorite. Apparently, nightmares are her favorite night activity. Maheshwari, you have not lived, girl, if that is your favorite <laughs> night activity. Okay, okay, stop that. Come that's, to that. That's none of your business, <laughs> actually, Nikhil. Uh. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're going to come back after a short break, and when we do, we're going to be seeing what Ooh, the we're going to Really be exciting stuff, exciting stuff. Again, we're whittling down to the last three. Those will be our winners, and that our one question that will determine their fates and destinies right here at the Far Femina I'm Miss nervous. India Contest 2001. Stay I'm nervous. Tuned. I can't look. You call for a break. Impressive, extremely impressive. Well, I could not imagine wanting anything more than that. That's right. It now looks like the tension is mounting, ladies and gentlemen. The finalists know it isn't long before the crucial question is put to them. Which three winners will earn the honor of possessing those exquisite crowns and trophies superbly designed by Mala? And who will cruise away on the sizzling wheels in zippy Maruti Altos, courtesy of Maruti Odeog Limited? Well, time now to move on to our last and final round. But before that, I'll take this moment to point out that the efficient coordination behind every performance is a tribute to the stage management of OnQ Productions and the backstage management of Vabi Smetha. And while the air travel of all our international artists is courtesy SOTC, the ground transportation is the competent hands of Adar Shrentakar. <laughs> And now that the credits have been duly given where they are due, let us now call on stage our five finalists for the decisive final question. that will finally decide their fates, decide which of these pretty heads will wear crowns tonight. Not just pretty head, Rahul. It needs a lot more than that to be able to stand up here and answer a question that packs a mean punch. And to do that, they have just one short, heart-stopping minute. Are you guys ready for the final question? And here it is. I, oh, I don't have pockets, so it has to be with you. Here is the, uh, the question, contestants. Uh, I will repeat it twice before you start with your answers. The question is, let's consider two oft-said quotes. One, fools seldom differ. And two, great minds think alike. Which one do you believe and why? The question again is, let's consider two oft-said quotes. Fools seldom differ and great minds think alike. Which one do you believe and why? Your time starts now.
Well, girls, I think you're going to have to put your pens down. That startled me. <laughs> okay, can I have your Xerox copy? Did you need some help? You've got to just open that. There you go. You can keep your copy and you give me that. Thank you. Over to you. Can I have your Xerox copy? Just the one underneath. The other one. Thank you. Well, over to you, cover. You served me rock up here. <laughs> okay, well now that I have my copy, I know exactly what's happening back down there. So we're going to begin with you, Sarah. You can start. Yep. Let me read the question out once again. It is, let's consider two offset quotes. Fools seldom differ and great minds think alike. Which one do you believe and why? Good evening once again. Often men think of only the frustrations of life and forget its magnificence. So I say great minds think alike because the world is beautiful and magnificent run by many a commanding man. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you very much. Yes, you may. You may read right from the paper. <laughs> okay, over to you, Selena. That's right. I believe that great minds think alike because intelligence is like a triple bond which joins mind to vibe at the same level. The higher the IQ, the greater the bonding. Thank you. Okay. Well, you ready, Kawa? Good evening once again. I believe in the fact that great minds think alike because if they had not thought alike, things like the IT industry, the airplanes, world technology, buildings, the roads, and Vigra wouldn't have come to existence. They are the building blocks of the world and one of the reasons of our existence. Thank you so much. Well, thank you, Kaval. Thank you. Sure, you are. Okay, time now. हाँ ये सच है मैं दूसरे कोच में विश्वास रखती हूँ क्योंकि मुझे अपने आप में विश्वास है और वो हमेशा सच होते हैं जीवन में अकलमंद हमेशा आगे बढ़ते हैं Thank you. Thank you, Namita. Do you want to go right ahead? I don't think. Do you need that translate? But you would. But the translation is for those a little. I believe in the second quote where great minds think alike because I believe that whenever you think right, you have a lot of confidence in yourself. And that's the confidence that takes you ahead in life. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Come on, everybody. Put your hands together. Well, your turn, Maheshwari. I do believe that great minds think alike because Taking examples from the past, world leaders and statesmen have been men of great charisma, genius, and with one single-minded thought, welfare of the people. Thank you. Well, thank you very much, ladies, all extremely profound. Well, some of them above my hair, but... Well, we'll see you in a while, and then just take your place. In the meantime, Raul and me are going to head back till we get our results. So just sit tight there, feel fresh, eat, drink, all of it, and we'll be right back.
Hi, everybody. I'm here. It's been a wonderful evening, and we've nearly reached the end. We're working on our new movie. It's called Snow White and the Dwarf. That's me. Okay, uh, we're going to have a special session now with the girls. We're going to discuss the questions and find out whether they had problems with uh, any particular question. So let's start with you. Let's discuss your answer and your question. My final question was, uh, do you believe in the oft-repeated quote, great minds think alike or that fools rarely differ? I said I do believe that great minds think alike because taking examples from the past, world leaders and statesmen have been men of great charisma, genius, and they have one single-minded thought, the welfare of the people. But if they had only one thought, then like they'd all be doing the same thing. But that's okay. That's why great minds think alike. Sort of help. Yeah, I can't handle the girls, boss. Really, how many times do I have to tell you? I'm a little worried about all this. Isn't it heavy? Not at all. It's okay? Yeah. I'm lifting the weight of my body, then what is this? That's right, lifting the weight of sort of help. <laughs> How many times? Okay, what about your question? Um, my question was we have to have a choice between two things, and I chose that great minds think alike. And um, essentially I said that we tend to always concentrate on the frustrations of life rather than the magnificence. And these commanding men have given us such a beautiful world, and that makes great minds think alike. Oh, Sarah, how does one know if one has a great mind? Like, for example, how do I know if I, you know, would have a great mind? Well, if you think you have a great mind, you do. That's it? That's it. We all have great minds. Everybody out there, great minds. We've all got great minds. All right, let's talk to you for a second now. Uh, I want to ask you, when you get these questions, let's be honest now. Let's be open. The judges aren't here. This is not counted. You can say what you want. Don't you ever feel like answering wrongly? Like when they ask you about this great mind question, don't you feel like just saying blue or something, just, which doesn't make sense? No, I do not feel like answering like that. <laughs> well, tell me honestly, because I do. I, when I hear the question, I'm like, can I say something completely stupid? No, I can't be stupid. Okay, then let's try. I'll ask you a question. Let's see if you can answer in a silly way. All right? Now, which is the longest river in the world? I have no idea. I'm so sorry. See, that's much better. I have no idea. I'm so sorry. She's the winner. That's fantastic. Everybody likes that. All right. Now, you tell us about the tension you were feeling. Is it, is it terrible because it all comes down to this last final question round? Yeah, I was feeling a lot of tension, but then uh, for a moment, I, I, my mind just went blank, and I was like, my God, what am I going to write in this sheet? And then it just all came, all my chemistry came back and I answered that triple bond is the strongest bond in chemistry. And James Bond is the weakest. <laughs> all right, before we go any further, one quick look at the ladies. You've seen them smiling and answering questions. They've worked very hard. So we want them to relax for a second. Let's just play a small game where you change your facial muscles. You've been smiling and smiling and smiling. So let's just change that. Now you have to make a variety of different faces. Let's start with you. Go. Lovely. Your turn. Fantastic. Magnificent. Yeah. Oh, okay, I call you later, all right? Let's go back now to Nikhil and Lisa. Will I uh, talk to the girls about phone numbers and things like that?
there you have it ladies and gentlemen our 30 contestants they have been absolutely wonderful their team spirit their sense of camaraderie and their professionalism have truly been exemplary they are truly india's finest glowing in creations designed by the incomparable Heman Srivedi and Sheetal Design Studio. Well, I think they make great role models to a generation that respects confidence, self-fulfillment, and a self-worth. Here's wishing them all the best in their chosen careers and fields. And now, this brings us to the triumphant trio who but a year ago stood on a similar stage with joyous smiles and today stride the globe as victorious queens. Never before has India seen such glory. Three winners in a year, and this historic pageant brings them together in all their regal splendor. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to now call upon Miss Asia Pacific, Dia Mirza, Miss World, Priyanka Chopra, and Miss Universe, Lara Datta.
to them, ladies and gentlemen, the Femina winners who made India so proud of its women and made its women so proud to be Indian. Whew. What a ride it's been. And I'm not talking about the one we just got off from. From our achievements on this very stage a year ago to our own personal accomplishments on an international arena. But more than that, for the things that we have seen, learned and experienced. Even as we spread the golden wings that we have been provided, we have our feet firmly placed on the ground. We, because of how we have learned, because of how we have perceived and seen things, seen the two extremes of life, the glory and the glamour that the crowns have given us, and the pain and destitution. It helps us strike a perfect balance in life and see the, to help us our perce perception of it. We were young girls dark shades within a flame, enshrined within its golden glow. The Femina Miss India training program helped us all burn really bright. It gave us a sense of direction and a resplendent future. And as today, when we stand here on this stage, we stand in front of you, the three of us, the way we have, and we think about what life has given us, and we think about how much you have. We would like to not just commend the parents and the families of the 30 girls present here today, but to all those who have walked the stage in the past. We would like to thank you all for supporting us and helping us achieve the dream that we've always wanted to. Tonight, a few lucky women will dare to dream. Tonight, they will have an opportunity of enriching their lives, an opportunity to instill in themselves a sense of confidence, a sense of empowerment, a voice. We understand that great successes are about taking your negatives and turning them around. Winning the Miss Asia Pacific title was a goal I set not for myself, but for all the young girls who would win in the future to help them feel as special as they would if they had won the Miss Universe or the Miss World <laughs> titles, respectively. When we think of a beauty queen winner or a pageant winner, we think of someone flawless or a doll, maybe. But all I would like to say today is at the end of the day, we are human beings. We are human beings going out there, try to achieve the dreams that may maybe we have dared to dream. And all I would like to thank today is Times of India Group, Pradeep Guha, Ms. Satya Saran, our panel of experts who helped us do this. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you all. At this moment, I would like to introduce to you all the Femina Little Princess Foundation, a foundation that will work towards the betterment of the girl child. Not only the winners tonight, but winners of the past and participants of the Femina Miss India contest will be actively involved in. We thank you for giving us a chance in our lives to find purpose in our lives. And we ask you to support these wonderful women, not now, not for us, but for the future, because they can and do make a difference in the lives of the people that they meet. Using the words of a man that is very revered in our country, in times to come, people will not judge us by the creed we bear, or the clothes we wear, or the slogans that we shout, but by our work, industry, sacrifice, and purity of character. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. indeed from the popular son of the soil Sukhbir. And I definitely got a second that Indian girls are definitely the best. Don't you agree Rahul? I've never disagreed on that. Well one. beauty has a purpose and purpose makes the pursuit of beauty even more beautiful, more meaningful. Now from this glittering sky of shining stars may I request the five finalists to please step forward.
Here they stand, ladies and gentlemen, with a prayer on their lips and hope surging in their hearts. A prayer that this is the evening that will forever change their lives. A hope that they too will emerge winners all the way. That this is the first step to bigger victories. Ladies and gentlemen, the time has come. Well, please wait. But before that, let's once again thank the people behind the success of this show. Our main sponsor, Far, our co-sponsor, Mobla, our host, The Regent, Sony Entertainment Television, Hemant Trivedi and Sheetal Design Studio, Ritu Kumar for the International Wardrobe, our official photographer, Jeetu Savlani, Biscraft International Entertainment for event production assistance, jewelry from Intergold, the sizzling altos from Maruti Udyog Limited, international travel arrangement, Kutsi SOTC, Pepsi and Mongenies for refreshments. Virtual vision for video playback system, ground transportation by other rent a car. Not to forget the Mumbai City and Traffic Police, the NSC Ground Authorities, the National Institute of Event Management for its band of tireless volunteers, all the corporates who've sponsored prizes and gifts for our contestants and winners, and the hundreds who've contributed to tonight's success. Well, the time has finally come, right Rahul? That's right. Pundits, astrologers, soothsayers, wherever you are, note the moment. It is exactly at this moment that three new queens are being ushered into being. So we ready? Absolutely. Let's go. We have the results right here Let's somewhere. Let's not waste any time. I have them neatly tucked away just for you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Femina Miss India Asia Pacific. Any guesses? Well, it's contestant number 28, Maheshwari. <laughs> Femina Miss India World is contestant number one, Sara. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, Femina Miss India Universe is contestant number 11, Selena.
Monica. Thank you, Lara. Thank you to all the contestants. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a great evening. You've been a great audience, and good night. Well, thank you so much. I can't believe the evening's come to an end, but namaskar, adios, shubhratri, and shabakher. Go in peace, everybody, and have a great night. Bye. exciting end to a very, very exciting <laughs> evening indeed. It's been and fun. we have three newly crowned beauties on the horizon. And they're going to do us proud when they carry their, their titles forward to the international pageants in the, in the days and months absolutely. to come. I wish them all the best. It's been absolutely, absolutely And I agree with what Sukhbir sang about, that Indian girls are the best. East or West, Indian girls <laughs> are the best all the time. Let's just talk about them for a while. Maheshwari, okay. I picked her as a winner um, yeah, she, right in the beginning. Around yeah, you did. You mentioned her right from the beginning. Because I there was something that. about her in the swimwear around when she walked down the stairs. There's something that caught my eye. There is that indefinable uh, quality, but that's what makes a winner. And she really shone exactly. out by the end of it, and that's where it counted. By the way, her nickname is Mash, but I'm sure you'll find out a lot more about her in the days to come because <laughs> the media is going to go completely potty about Absolutely, these three Absolutely, and of ours. so they should because it's really a personal triumph for each and every girl mm -hmm. and for our country as well. Move, that, was, that was Miss India Asia Pacific. Moving on to Miss India World. Sarah, go Sarah! Bangalore, go! Bangalore's <laughs> going mad. I think I can hear the cheers from here. Yeah, the fireworks are going off on MG Road. <laughs> Sarah had great poise. She displayed great poise, mm. confidence. Spoke very well. Very well spoken right from the beginning. I mm. think she was also a crowd pleaser. Yeah, she was. And um, she, had an, she had a really good walk on the ramp. I think she's going to go far. Not absolutely, just as a... As absolutely. And we hope that she can also fulfill her dreams of hoping an airline uh, one day as well. Sarah now with one uh, title under the belt. Sarah Atlantic. That'll be interesting. <laughs> There's Virgin Atlantic. She'll definitely cross the Atlantic. That much we know. That she definitely yeah. will. <laughs> and uh, our big winner this evening, not just for the final for the final contest, but also in all the sub-contests. You know, the sub -contest the is Selena. Contest Selena. She's big crowd favorite as well. Big crowd favorite. A big favorite of ours over here in the studio as well. She's going to go voice. really far.